Photolithography is the core technology in industrial manufacturing of semiconductor devices. It provides both the resolution and the throughput requirements for high volume manufacturing. In addition, it gives high overlay accuracy, low defectivity, scalability and makes it possible to realize complex structures at a low production cost. For the last five decades, Moore's law has been driving the miniaturization of the semiconductor devices that transformed our daily life. According to this law, the number of transistors per unit of area should double every two years. This progress was only possible through steady advancements in photolithography. One way to increase the optical resolution is to reduce the wavelength and slowly but surely the wavelength used in photolithography systems has become shorter and shorter. Extreme ultraviolet lithography uses light of 13.5 nanometer wavelength and it is considered the leading technology option for future nodes. EUV projection lithography is based on reflective optics and plasma sources. Despite the significant delays due to technological challenges, this technology is now mature for high volume manufacturing. Interference lithography is a simple and low cost method of creating aerial images without the limitations of projection optics. This technique exploits the interference of two or more coherent EUV beams to generate a periodic aerial image on the wafer plane. The EUV IL tool installed at the Swiss Light Source at the Paul Scherer Institute in Switzerland uses an undulator source to eliminate the transmission grating masks with a homogeneous and coherent beam. The gratings are manufactured on silicon nitrate membranes using electron beam lithography. The diffracted beams interfere on the wafer plane, creating a sinusoidal aerial image. In most of the cases, the mask consists of several grating pairs that can generate nanostructures of different half pitch in a single exposure. EUV interference lithography combines the simplicity of interference and the resolution advantage of EUV light. The resolution advantage of EUV is due to its short wavelength and to the fact that the interaction of EUV light and resist leads to very limited blur. If we use the first order diffraction beams, the period of the interference pattern is given by the formula shown here and corresponds to half of the period of the gratings. The diffracted beams from different gratings with equal period interfere and create a well-defined sinusoidal aerial image. This technique has infinite depth of focus, which means that the aerial image is insensitive to distance variation between the mask and the wafer, which is a critical issue for projection lithography. As opposed to serial writing techniques, such as the electron beam lithography, this is a parallel writing method, which means that all patterns are written in a single exposure, increasing the throughput dramatically. A pattern as large as 25 square millimeters can be written in a single exposure, making it possible to cover large areas by step and repeat. The resolution of a lithography tool is measured as the achievable density of the printable structures, which corresponds to the half pitch of a periodic structure. This method, currently, can achieve down to 6 nanometer half pitch, marking the world record in photolithography. Here, you can see dot arrays and grating structures down to 7 nanometer half pitch. These are the smallest patterns ever written with photons. The resolution is limited by the mask writing. It should be noted that to achieve 7 nanometer half pitch, the mask grating is 14 nanometer half pitch, which is very difficult to obtain with electron beam lithography. While two-beam interference lithography provides line space patterns, it is possible to generate a two-dimensional by interfering more beams. For example, four-beam interference can produce dot arrays in negative tone resist. It should be noted that the relative phase of the beams is crucial in defining the aerial image. We can change the phase of the beams by tuning the relative position of the individual diffraction gratings on a mask. In the example below, the phase is changed so that the resulting aerial image has different tone and different period. If six beams are interfering, the resulting aerial image can be a hexagonal dot array or a honeycomb structure or a so-called Kagon pattern, depending on the phase of the beams. In interference lithography, the number of interfering beams define the symmetry of the periodic structure. In the case of 5-beam interference, a 5-fold symmetry is enforced 
and it prevents the generation of a periodic pattern. There is no periodic structure or crystal with five-fold symmetry. If the system is forced to this symmetry, it produced so-called quasi-crystals or Penrose tilings. In this case, there is a short-range order, but in the long range, the structure does not repeat itself. This behavior is also shown for the case of eight beams. EUV interference lithography is extensively used for academic and industrial research owing to its high resolution, high throughput and large area coverage. The industrial use of this technique is mainly limited to the performance evaluation of EUV resists. Academic uses include various applications where the researchers need either large area or high resolution nanostructures. As the top-down nanofabrication reaches the sub-10 nanometer scale, new applications arise. This scale, where various phenomena emerge, such as single electron effects and quantum confinement, has been the domain of bottom-up methods, such as chemical synthesis. We hope that top-down will bring better control, more functionality and complex integration.